Kai Soto umiinit sa Japan B-League at si Lebron James huling naghari at tinalo ang Utah Jazz sa pagtatapos ng NBA Elimination Round. At nakuha ng Los Angeles Lakers ang pangpitong pwesto sa Western Conference at makakatapat nila ang Minnesota Timberwolves para sa play-in tournament. Walang duda na si Kai Soto ang isa sa pinakamagaling ngayon na import na naglararo sa Japan B-League, Mapa World Import Man or Asian Import. Kaya dahil dito ay masasabi natin na ready na si Kai Soto sa bakbakan ngayong June para sa NBA Summer League. Hindi naman kasi mga pipichuging players ang mga nakakatapat ni Kai Soto sa Japan dahil napakalakas ng mga world imports ng bawat koponan and every team has 3 world imports na ang karamihan ay meron ng NBA experience or kung hindi man ay mga superstar noong sa kanilang US NCAA team. And yet Kai Soto was able to compete at a high level sa mga big time imports ng Japan B-League. And the most recent ay ang kanyang matchup kay Perrin Buford na kung saan pinakita ni Kai Soto ang kanyang ability to play defense galing sa labas. Ang aspeto ng kanyang laro na considered asterisk para sa mga basketball experts dahil nakikita nila noon na ito ang magiging problema ni Kai Soto pagdating niya sa NBA wherein the players are lightning quick and all fast. Pero pinatunayan ni Kai Soto na nag-improve na ang kanyang lateral defense at ready na siyang lumaban sa pabilisan sa depensa pagdating ng NBA Summer League. Kudos to Coach Cal Milling dahil binigyan niya si Kai Soto ng pagkakataon na patunayan na kaya niyang dumipensa against speedy guards katulad ni Perrin Buford. In fact, magandang role player sana si Kai Soto para sa Los Angeles Lakers na kulang ng isa pang big man dahil siguradong mabubusog si Kai Soto sa mga pasa ni Lebron James. Speaking of Lebron James, ay muli na naman siya naghari sa NBA matapos matumbahin ang Utah Jazz sa score ng 128 to 117. Pinangunahan ni Lebron James ang LA Lakers opensa scoring 36 points, 6 boards, and 6 dimes in another all-around performance. At mukhang ito rin ang landas na tinahak ngayon ni Kai Soto, ang pagiging all-around player katulad ni Lebron James. Kai Soto is averaging 11.3 points, 6.5 rebounds, 2 blocks, 1.8 assists sa kanyang first 11 games sa Japan B-League playing for Hiroshima Dragonflies. Very clear sa mga averages ni Kai Soto that he is not all about height as what his bashers suggest. Pero wala namang kabuluhan ang kanilang sinasabi because numbers don't lie. And it shows kung gaano kagaling ni Kai Soto sa scoring, sa rebounding, sa playmaking, at higit sa lahat sa depensa. Hindi pa kasama dyan ang hindi nakikita ng mga mata pero nakikita sa resulta. Ito ang tinatawag nating mga intangibles. Kai Soto's impact para sa Hiroshima Dragonflies is immeasurable dahil napakaraming intangibles ang kanyang nagagawa during games katulad ng pagiging decoy sa kanilang mga offensive plays at sa kanyang nagagawa sa depensa being the last line of defense. Kaya dahil dito ay masasabi natin na ready na talaga si Kai Soto sa matinding pagsubok ng mangyayari sa kanyang basketball career sa NBA Summer League. And hopefully, Kai Soto will be successful at makukuha na niya ang napakatagal ng NBA dream ng mga Pinoy. Ang Los Angeles Lakers ay papasok sa postseason bilang number 7 seed matapos talunin nila ang Utah Jazz. Umiscore si Lebron James ng walong 3-pointer sa kanyang 36 big points. At si Anthony Davis naman ay may 16 points and 13 rebounds. At ang Los Angeles Lakers ay pasok sa postseason bilang ikapitong seed sa Western Conference sa kanilang panalo laban ng Utah Jazz sa score ng 128 to 117. About 30 minutes after the streamers fell from the Raptors on the Lakers regular season finale. It's different because usually in the postseason, we have multiple days to prep for a team. We literally have one day to prep. For us, it's good that we don't have to travel. It's good that we get to stay here, but we shouldn't be comfortable. We need to stay on edge and get ready for the game. Yan ang sabi ni Lebron James. Si D'Angelo Russell ay nagtala ng 17 points para sa Lakers, who won 9 of their last 11 games 
and went 18-9 after revamping their roster at the trade deadline. Not the fact that they traded me has anything to do with it, but the fact they're in the way of what we're trying to get done. That's all that really matters to me. Sabi pa ni D'Angelo Russell. At si Chris Dunaman ay merong 26 big points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists. At si Kelly Olenek ay nagdagdag ng 23 points para sa Utah Jazz, who wrapped up their first non-playoff season in 7 years with their 9th loss in 11 games. It was obviously a little bit of a roller coaster, but it was a good time. It was fun. A lot to build towards. It's definitely looking forward and promising. Sabi ni Kelly Olenek. At si Simon Fontacho naman ay nagtala ng 20 points para sa Utah Jazz, na kung saan naglaro ang Jazz nang wala ang kanilang top 3 scorers due to injuries and rest. The Jazz wrapped up the season nang wala si na Laurie Markkanen, Colin Sexton, ang rookie na si Walker Kessler, at pati si Rudy Gay, at ang ating kababayan na dating LA Lakers na si Jordan Clarkson, at si Talon Horton Tucker ay wala rin. At sa ibang laro ng NBA naman. Ang Minnesota Timberwolves ay lalong umiinit para sa postseason. Pinauwi ang Timberwolves center na si Rudy Gobert matapos niyang suntukin ang kanyang kakampi na si Kyle Anderson sa pagtatalong naganap sa bench sa second quarter ng laro laban ng New Orleans Pelican. Shortly after ace defender Jaden McDaniels put his availability in doubt by hitting a wall out of frustration. This is probably one of the grittier wins I think anyone will ever be a part of. The things we went through in today's game are not normal. Hit after hit, we just found a way to lean on each other. The most important thing is we could have easily splintered. Whether it was Kyle and Rudy or hearing news about Jaden, it was one hit after another. But it just brought more out of us. We dug deep down. Sabi ng point guard na si Mike Conley. Humingi si Rudy Gobert ng paumanhin sa text group ng team, sabi ni Mike Conley. Pero tumanggi si coach Chris Finch na magpahayag tungkol sa potential na punishment para kay Rudy Gobert, who was playing with back spasms after being listed as questionable. Si Carl Anderson naman ay umaapoy dahil sa pangyayaring sa gupaan with Rudy Gobert. Nagbigay si Carl Anderson sa malaking tulong sa Timberwolves sa kanyang versatility at sa kanyang experience sa unang season ng team. Kyle Anderson engaged in a heated discussion with Gobert about one of the many sequences that had gone wrong to the point where the team was in a huddle during a timeout late in the second quarter. Pero tinapos ni Rudy Gobert ang pagtatalo sa pamamagitan ng pagtataas ng kanyang braso para hampasin si Kyle Anderson sa upper chest nito. At pinaghiwalay ang dalawa at dinala pabalik sa rocker room si Rudy Gobert. Nag-react din si Torian Prince sa pagsuntok ni Rudy Gobert sa pamamagitan ng pagtalon muna sa kanyang kinauupuan at tinulak niya si Gobert. I think tempers just flared. That's all. We want to win games. It is what it is. It ain't the first time someone has swung on me. Yan ang sabi ni Kyle Anderson. At ayon pa kay Anderson na silang dalawa ni Rudy Gobert ay hindi mahihirapan moving forward.